what strategies am I doing on my website to get the most traffic and to get the most entries? So what's working best for me to get people on my website is word of mouth marketing and Google search for my name. The top entry page on my website is jerrybanfield.com. That's often from word of mouth marketing. That's from me showing it on YouTube videos. The majority of people coming to jerrybanfield.com directly are word of mouth marketing in YouTube. Then the second top page on my website is a direct link from YouTube. So the four plus thousand views I'm getting here, it's the direct link from YouTube. So this is the second most popular page people come to first on my website. And what I'm showing you here, I'm showing you the certified site metrics with Alexa. I'm showing you them with Alexa because Google, it's a little more difficult in the sense Google Analytics is so deep, it has so many different things you can do. This is a little bit easier to communicate the point. And you might have already seen Google Analytics, so I'm giving you what may, might be a fresh approach here. So this is the top entry page, these two. And then the next one, this is an organic search page. And then this is a YouTube direct link, and then this is an organic search. So out of the top five of my pages, one is word of mouth, searches for me, and a combination of YouTube videos. So jerrybanfield.com is kind of a melting pot, all kinds of people come there. And then the second top page is from YouTube, organic traffic. And then the third top page is from Google Organic Search directly to my website. The fourth is from YouTube and the fifth is from Google Organic Search directly to my website. So out of my top five pages, two of them come primarily from SEO. You could say that I've done on my website. And this traffic on this Facebook ads page is very valuable. I've got a friend this page has been up for about two years and even though there's a 97% bounce rate, this gets people introduced to me. This, I have a friend, he's been in my mastermind group for a couple of years now and he found me originally doing a search on this Facebook ads account disabled and that's how he found me. So these are the entry pages on my website where people come in. What you'll notice, my website has a lot of depth. You'll notice there's a ton of pages on my website that people enter. So what you want to do with organic search is to have, think about organic search like fishing. You want to have as many lines in the water as possible. Now I'm going to give you an exact recipe in this to catch the most fish so to speak. I'll show you what the two top pages on my website for organic search have in common and I'll show you that so that you can replicate it. Now you'll see there's so many pages on my website. These are entry pages, so people are coming into the website from there. So these are some of my most valuable pages because these are pages people are going directly to. They're, it's like the doorways to my website. So each individual page, you want to look at it as a doorway. You're getting people in the door with you. So each of these individual pages then are getting people in the door. So there's hundreds of these pages that are getting at least 10 people in the door every month. And now what I'll show you is the total page views. The total page views is different from the actual pages people are entering. So for SEO, you want to make the most out of every single person who is actually on your website. So looking at the viewed pages can help you see what people are doing after they're entering. You can see the percent of time people are spending places. And then you can see the most important pages to work on in terms of SEO for your entry pages. And then for pages that people are just looking at, you can look and see what you can do to make each of your top pages better. So for me, I'm getting a lot of my top page views on these three categories here. So I work and consistently look at these three most viewed pages as a top priority. I look at them over the other pages on my website. I make sure there's good opportunities for me to convert sales on these. So I've shown you the depth I have on my website. Hundreds of pages that bring people in hundreds of pages that have at least 20 people looking at them every month. 
and have at least 10 people entering on the website. So to me, a good SEO approach has both these top pages that bring in, this one page alone brings in about 100 people a day, and this page brings in about 60 or 70 people a day. To have top pages that bring lots of people in, but then you don't usually discover pages without having depth without having all these different pages to figure out and take a chance at having a top page. So I'm grateful you've spent this time with me here. I will dive in deeper and show you what some of the top pages on my website look like. I'll give you a formula next, an exact formula to make a top page on your website.